Hello everyone, thank you for joining our webinar today. I'm Renata Kalnunene, Marketing Project Manager at Sopneta. Today we have a webinar dedicated to our new release, which will be presented by our CEO, Vito Tasbublis. And please, if you have any questions, write them in the chat section. At the end of the webinar, I'm going to read the questions we got in the registration form and also we got during the uh, webinar. And one more thing, uh, as you know, this webinar is going to be recorded. So after the webinar, hopefully in a few days, uh, we will have a link with the recording and presentation file. So I'm going to send by the emails you filled in in the registration forms. Uh, so let's start. Vito, us you can present. Thank you very much, Renata. So I'm switching to my presentation. Thank you everyone for joining us today, this uh, lovely summer day, uh, to see our second release of this year. I'm very proud about this release and many thanks for our team, which uh, did a great job of, of releasing 8.2 version, which is really contain a lot of visual features, which is in most of the cases is uh, most important for our partners. So we still expect to have one more release this year uh, in autumn, maybe even two. It depend, depend how we will uh, schedule our features, but one is for sure just before November. So one uh, release is definitely will be there. Uh, at this time. So let's uh, see what is in this 8.2 version. So we can see what most of the functions is related to visualization, uh, to the hanging protocols, or to even measurements or, or tools. And we also have uh, upgrade on our backend. Also, we are migrated uh, to Java 17 in this version. So. I believe we will go in details through each visual feature, maybe just shortly stuck on a few of them. So such features like montage, like fusion, or, or measurements for the or, or orthopedic. So this is really was crucial. And I know that many of our partners really needed these features already and asked it for more than yes, some of them, it was on the to-do list like one year. So I'm really proud to say that finally we got these measurements, we got these features already in our product, and I hope to get all your feedbacks when you start using it. So here is the detailed list of, of what was um, released. So uh, I, I will not stuck on, on trying to read all these uh, list of, of log what was changed and I will go to more in, in details in each of this function. So first uh, of all of them, new histogram. Later on, I will present it, how it work on the viewer. So this feature is really amazing. Uh, if you like to have precise, precise window and see how the, the, the uh, histogram is already in the image. So this allows you manually manipulate all parameters and get exact image as you like. So I believe this feature was already demanded by, by many of our uh, advanced users, uh, which is really miss it this feature because most of uh, workstations if we speak not about zero footprint viewers but about workstations have this possibility to adjust histogram and get precise image so now our zero footprint viewer is also having this amazing feature and in this cases where you are manually not able to get the exact image you can switch in advanced windowing and work with histogram and achieve the image which you uh, expect to, to get maximum output. Another uh, really desired feature, it was montage. Montage feature allows you 
to create the layout which you like to print or use as a key image and saves this montage as a secondary capture, uh, which you can open at any time and see exact exact images and the location, zoom level, pan, measurements already included. The beauty of this function, of course, what is also contains uh, white corners, which is uh, saves if you print by printers. So today I will also present this function in, in live. So, so this function is really, really was uh, waited for long, I, I would say, as, as far as I remember, it was around four years on our to-do list. And finally, it's come alive. Another brilliant feature is Align. So uh, in the past, the doctor needed to move images to align them left, right. Um, so uh, now, this this alignment could be done by just one click and, and you can select to this which side you like to align and it's aligns ideally to 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 that line so again this uh, feature i will present uh, alive um the, the nice feature which is also was really demanded i would say also several years was on our to-do list was the uh, sync actions so at this point it was a possibility to sync only if you select some specific layout and only for one series so it was no possibility to sync between series between the images so finally we have uh, sync actions, which you can sync such things like windowing, color palette, panel, and, and pan and zoom. So all these uh, functions is possible to be synced and, and, and transparent. So this is very mandatory for the ophthalmology imaging, for the uh, CT, MR comparison. So all these features is already available for these type of data and also X-ray images, so, so you can work and now sync it not only in, in some specific layout, which is in the past, so it's configurable and, and now you can easily access it. This is also, I know that some of our uh, hospitals, which give us direct feedback, uh, when we implement our flat foot measurement, implemented other uh, like COB and uh, for the orthopedists. So this journalometry uh, uh, measurement was uh, one of the most desired features for the orthopedic uh, measurements uh, on to-do list. So it took us uh, what, more than one year to collect the data, how to create the most easy way to do this measurement. And finally, we got it and this measurement is already available. And as you later see, it's very, very easy to measure, very easy uh, to apply it. And finally, by several clicks, doctors will be able to get these measurements uh, in combination with flat foot and other uh, orthopedic measurements, which is already available on our viewer. Another also orthopedic measurement, TT, TG dis distance, which could, which could you measure on uh, tubal uh, and, and, and get also all needed parameters. So with this uh, uh, combination of measurements, we already have most of use case for orthopedic uh, uh, measurements covered in our product. Another innovation which we also created together with our partners, this is a, a new way how the fusion could be used. Uh, these are our partners which work in, in, in oncology already with our viewers. We know that our uh, product support fusion already several years. 
but final uh, version contains also possibility to fuse not only with specific uh, PET CT data, but also like uh, between uh, uh, different even modalities between MR CT, uh, different series you can fuse and get additional value from the data. Of course, for some cases it needed to configure specifically uh, the viewer configuration uh, files uh, to achieve this. And, and in these uh, cases, you would need to contact our support to get guidance because it's still very fresh feature. And especially because it also created to, to, to try to fuse different uh, uh, series, different different uh, data, so it's always con need uh, uh, launching on this feature at this point, always need some service actions. Yes, the, the new also very, very desired feature was for our partners to allow uh, users to configure, enable, disable, or create new hanging protocols by themselves not only in administrative mode. So this new version contains possibility uh, for the administrators allow even uh, not a power user to configure the hanging protocols, add, uh, switch, disable, or, and select any hanging protocols we like. So, so again, for these, uh, our partners which work on cloud and for which was very hard to have like engineers on site, now they can distribute for users, but they can by themselves configure any hanging protocols and achieve uh, needed uh, workflows, uh, not uh, mandatory getting administrative privileges on the product. Uh, another another uh, um, update, but now each, if in the past we didn't have this um, additional data, so now when you save uh, any annotations, any presentation state, so this automatically add the time of save, and also you can do a naming of it, uh, so, so you can see a time name uh, in the, in the, saved annotations and this allow you better uh, differentiate between the uh, annotations and, and who was and when saved with annotations. Also, we did a significant improvement in, in, in segmentation tools um, management, so, so you can now uh, edit already saved annotations. You can also um, change overlays. Is, is it up or down? Because sometimes you need to segment two different uh, segmentation in, in the same region and you like them to, to, to be visual visualized in front or back. So, so you can also use it and, and also you, you, you can select. So, so all these uh, uh, features now is available in, in, in our product and also you need to count and see them in, in bottom of, of the line when you open annotations. Later on, I will show where these new, new tools could be founded and how they could be uh, saw. This is also uh, the history upgrade was also on the list of, of to, do, to do, which was very hot. Uh, some of our partners intensively use history window and, and uh, several changes was created. First, we changed the icon itself to be more uh, self-explainable -excla -ex so that any user could automatically recognize that it's a history button, not just just like time clock, which was really confused sometimes our users. Another, we, we really upgraded the uh, information, amount of information, which in the history uh, 
window is is uh, uh, presented, especially with year appearance, so you can filter the historical data automatically by by clicking on needed uh, time of study. So this is automatically later on we will see filters very intuitively the, the, the data and doctor easily and fast they can access needed uh, images. So this is more visual thing and um, I would say it's more needed for the clinical trials, for the some research uh, if in clinic done or, or, or if uh, several doctors investigate the same patient and they like to recognize own annotations better from a visual perspective. So now we created what any measurement, any any any, any uh, like a, a painting which you do could be with different color and this color could be selected also by users. So uh, as I said, all all uh, configurations now available per user. So these user selections could be uh, dedicated for each user and user can also make a coloring uh, if, if it's needed by himself. Yes, and, and uh, one of the uh, also very big uh, steps as you see from Java 8 we immediately jump to Java 17 so also all our backend was upgraded to support Java 17 so it, it's mean our product uh, now on the latest Java and again all our partners could could feel safe about security about the uh, about the what this product already already will be supported by all operational systems and it will be no issues uh, with, with the support. So this is uh, the presentation. Now I'm switching to product and we will try to go through all the functions uh, which, which I presented you in the presentation. So let's start from histogram. So second, I will go from the full screen. So now if we, uh, now I'm logging in the system like to say but all uh, most of the new features you can immediately see on our online demo because the online demo already contain the newest build of our product and it's already uh, upgraded so you can go accept annotations and all these features will be not available because for the security reason uh, where these features is disabled in our installation of online demo so uh, so to to get some more uh, to get 100 percent uh, feeling on the new features you would need to uh, install your local installation and access and configure a possibility to save annotations and and, and other features so so then you would achieve achieve whole functionality so now i'm starting for for uh, for this first feature, so let's, for simplicity, I will open just any X-ray image. So now I have X-ray image. I still have possibility manually to adjust windowing, but here I can extend and go to the, uh, yeah, so it's not sync, sorry, not syncing of study, but to histogram. So now I can see histogram and now I can change by the histogram the, the the images and, and and get precise precise image which I would would love and see by the histogram the, the, the how the the window window is is in the image uh, uh, created so so this allow uh, the, the advanced user to manip manipulate image in any fashion he like. So this is a, a first feature which was on our list to be presented. So again, you, you can see it's it's under the windowing, and you will see histogram uh, 
histogram button. So in the in you going to histogram and you can call the interface. Very important information. If you're not installing fresh Medrim version, but you upgrading existing Medrim version, so all of these features by default setting will be disabled because uh, it, 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 it was done for the security because some uh, of settings would be related to change of, of, of viewer behavior, like history could be automatically enabled or disabled. So, so it, it was done by purpose, but when you upgrade the version, all new features which was not in your settings before is disabled. To enable them, you need to go and manually enable in your setting files, global setting files with features, or 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 actually you would need to do fresh install or update the, the setting files. So so for more precise information, if you uh, don't know how to upgrade the Medrim version, please contact our support and you will get more more advices how to safely update the new version and to be sure that all new features is enabled in your installation so now we switching to second function so this is now we work on montage function so again uh, now uh, I already have done some montage in advance, so you can see, but this advanced uh, montage already contains different windowing measurements on the image and everything, but how it works. So it works very simple. When you have image, you make a zooming anything you like, and you click on montage function. Montage function is already in the interface. You click and you you get uh, uh, mo montage uh, window, which you click on image. When montage window is available, when you click on window, this window automatically transfers to montage tab. So now I can drop another image. Again, I click, and it's automatically create a, additional uh, additional images in mon montage window. So I can drop uh, any, like here is a measurement, any new windows, and I create montage. When montage is created, I need to click save. When I save it, it's automatically posted to, to my uh, window. So here we, we see already saved uh, mon montage. So we switching now to next function. Here is uh, alignment. So I selecting any, it could be not mandatory uh, mammography image, but on mammography image is more easy to present. So for example, now I have mammography image and I like to align to right. So I just click, you see, the image automatically move to to the left. If I need to return, it's it's you you click the align right, and all image now contain this uh, possibility to do alignments, and you can selectively align only these windows which you need. So uh, synchronization action, this is really, I would say, generate most benefits for ophthalmology, but not only for, for them. Yes, let's see if I have some ophthalmology images at my site. It's more video. Yes, so yeah. 
No, unfortunately, I don't have uh, 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 ophthalmology, but we can use any any type of image. So, for example, now we drop any free images, or like it would be in your case, ophthalmology case, eyes, two eyes, or or a comparison of historical data. And when I select the synchronization, so in synchronization, I can selectively select any uh, uh, parameter which I like synchronized between windows. So like uh, windowing, uh, zoom, pan, or I can select all of them. So at this point, I selecting all of them. So now when I zoom, so it, it, it zooms, and when I window, it's windows. Sorry, I didn't select all of parameters, so I need to select. So you see all windows now is propagated, so you can uh, easily uh, work with, with any different data like CT, uh, different series, uh, select uh, X-rays, uh, lungs, everything, and everything will be propagated. So, so this is really simplifies. And if you don't need any more the, the, the synchronization, you just disable the function and again switch to the normal view. So it's very easy, very fast way, and also uh, you you can select uh, any needed configuration to be synchro synchronized. Gonometry, gonometry. Uh, unfortunately, I also not have right data, uh, full data like with full leg, but I have very close data which will allow you to understand the, the, the how it works. So I selecting the window. Just let's imagine what is our um, hip uh, and, and leg we would need to to measure. So. I select gonometry tool. I take a hip. I have the image, and now I take two another measurements like it done in 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 our presentation. As you see, the, the measurement first you do hip measurement, then you take uh, middle of knee and bottom. So this automatically shows to all parameters. And doctor immediately can recognize everything in combination with flat foot, cob edge. This is fully uh, completes the skeleton measurements uh, needed for the uh, orthopedist. Uh, of course, we still planning. Uh, uh, we it's not specified yet, but to upgrade also uh, for the pediatric, a few more measurements. But even now, the, we we have one of the most complete uh, orthopedist uh, zero footprint uh, measurements on, on the viewers. This uh, date, this data I don't have in my demo demo setup. So so uh, you 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 need to have this uh, CT or MR. Uh, studies available to perform a measurement. Now we switching to uh, fusion. So this uh, data also fast okay to fuse. I in previous version, it was no possibility to fuse uh, different series or different studies. So in this case, I drop uh, like. Uh, first uh, data and now I click fuse. You see now in the fuse interface, I can see also the data which I like to fuse. So for example, in this case, I select the contrast data and it's automatically fuse uh, for me the data. I can scroll, uh, I can change the fuse level. So so this is a, a example example of, of, of fuse function. Uh, which uh, you you can use I, if data is proper is less configuration needed, but in some particular cases to achieve this functionality, we would need to consult with our service. 
and, and you need to count on it and also know what if you know and you like to, to fuse like MR studies and get additional data, you need to, to connect. Uh, and it's, if it's very important for your business, you need to uh, ask our um, support team for the uh, dedicated training how to do it. We expect also to have some technical training in the future on, on these uh, on these functions available online in our YouTube channel to 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 have more information how to uh, uh, configure these uh, uh, functions. This this uh, let's switch back to to settings. So now we in settings uh, is. Uh, uh, our partners, which is uh, common with hanging protocols or with any other settings, know that in the past uh, you was already, I believe, one year uh, even more this uh, uh, available to have personalized uh, settings and hanging protocols for each user. But to have it, you needed to create a dedicated global JSON. Uh, manually uh, by by going to the server, copy, naming it properly. So all uh, the new version contains already the user interface and you don't need to do everything. You just as an administrator, you need to specify that this user already have right to configure own hanging protocols or own settings. And then user have right to, to go to settings and configure needed functionality by, by himself. So this is a really uh, the minded feature and this is, I believe, the most of our cloud, especially cloud uh, partners will re really benefit. Um, yeah, it's it, it's more, this feature is, is very simple. We just need to, to see many annotations. So now if I go to annotations, you can see what the date is added. So before it was uh, no way to recognize the date. And if several annotations is made on, on, on the same image, it was very hard to recognize which uh, annotation is made where it is final or how the sequence of a measurement. So so now you, you was able only guess. Now you can see the, the detailed timing on it. So with, with draw, so with the segmentation tools, uh, segmentation tools panel is, if you go to segmentation panel and, and extend the segmentation. So as you see in my study, I have already several uh, uh, segmentations done. So I can go to exact segmentation and now I have edit. Uh, I can edit the segmentation and, and all these new functions uh, is available. Like previously, we was not able to, to switch and work. So this, uh, our clinical trial companies or, or, or doctors which use our segmentation tools to segment strokes or other data, they will have possibility now to change and edit and also have uh, more uh, possibilities to operate with data after it was saved. So major update was related to 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 allow our partners uh, to modify the, the already saved annotations and uh, help users uh, to, to to work with data when it was saved. Now the, the changes in the history button. So first of all, we see the design change. The, the, the button is not anymore like clock. This, our partner, we choose Medrim already some time. So we know that we already had history button in the past, but it was more like clock. Now it's changed to scheduler. And if you click on the time, so the, 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 the biggest change which you see, of course, is a timing. So in the past, 
you needed manual research and, and think what time it is, to which time period the study belongs. So now here I can select, for example, 2007, I automatically know that this study belongs, belongs only for this timing. If I need all or, or this particular 15 year, or, or I can select all of them. So now we coming again to, to the function, which is more visual. So uh, the new medium contains possibility to do a, a, a measurements with specific colors. So each measure, measurement have own color and, and, and you can define it. So what is created in the new version, but when you go to view and go in specific column, which is called measurements. So now you can select for each measurement different color scheme and apply it. So for example, now we saw it was yellow measurement. Now I can go to blue, save it. And if I now refresh my medium to get new settings, I select and now I do any measurement again. Maybe I didn't save. No, I saved. No, I didn't save. Yeah. It's it's mandatory as you saw my mistake was but I saved only once. It didn't save the, the, the function itself. We see the color is available now. The color is changed. So again, please not repeat my mistake. When you when you saving when you saving the change, you need to check what save must be performed twice. First, you save new color palette, and then save the, the settings itself. So it's, this is most common mistake when you working with settings, but you forget to save setting. Yes, so I believe Renata, we passed all the functions already, which is uh, in new version. So you can proceed with, with questions, I believe. Okay, thank you, Vito Tos. Uh, so let's go through the questions we got in the registration form. Uh, so the first one is, are there plans to integrate with Amazon Health Lake? Yes, so uh, regarding the Amazon Health Lake imaging, so we definitely work and partnering with them and we also plan to have in autumn some training session which explains already how you can use Medrimon Health Lake imaging. And definitely this is in our roadmap but because our company like to be uh, integrated in all cloud provider solutions, but how deep it will be integrated, it will be defined by our partner needs. At this point, we, we mainly uh, is integrated by uh, reading the files and not utilizing all health like imaging uh, compression uh, capabilities to use uh, JPEG 2000 and other formats. But as I said, it's only depend on our partner needs. Okay, another one, <clears throat> how to share patient images? Um, this is a question. Uh, we need to have more context on, on the question because the sharing of images, if we speak only like sending sending the links uh, from, from the medium. So to do this, uh, 
some particular integration needed because we need to know context. Is it about patient portal or anonymic sending through DICOM library or 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 you think about different systems like live share function which allows for people to consult. So my recommendation to, to get more precise answer if you can send us with more detailed question with the context is you speak about patient portals is you speak about live share functionality or you speak about anonymous consultations then we could guide you and precisely answer because uh, to to show all possibilities it would take too long and without knowing from which system you like to do this this would be very hard to explain okay thank you another one is Elaborate segmentation features. Yes, so uh, the segmentation features uh, you already, I believe we already had the, the uh, dedicated trainings for that and we have also uh, video. So this is, uh, we have uh, now two different segmentation tools. It's a boundary box, which is more, um, uh, only one shape allowing to segment, but very fast way to segment. And also we have like um, uh, our advanced segmentation tools, which, which allow you to, to grow and uh, do a 3D segmentation. So I really recommend to uh, see our detailed tutorial, which is in our YouTube channel uh, for, for, for this uh, uh, understanding. Okay, thank you. Another one. I would like to learn more about the DICOM annotation RT struct as a tool to create annotations such as bounding boxes for machine learning applications. Yes, so 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 uh, again, really maybe Renata you can show also our YouTube channel so I really recommend to to go to our de dedicated uh, training on on the on the segmentation tools I believe um, Renata we also have maybe for this function dedicated uh, video on our website uh, how to use the uh, segmentation tools so because it will take time to go through all of the feature um, today um, so again if you will struggle to to launch the function again contact our support but come back in with rt struct so when you segment um, our using uh, our segmentation tools when you segment some object in, in the study you always have possibility to save and this saving will be performed in an RT struct format which you can export and import and train your algorithms so so uh, we know what our segmentation tools is already used by several IE vendors to build the databases for the IE to be trained and again if you IE company and you are missing any functions in our RT struct saved data so you always uh, allow to contact us ask about uh, our support um, even you can deploy the function availability request where, where we would consider and negotiate with you how we can create additional needed features for RT struct to be consumed by your IE and, and, and trained Okay, thank you. So another one is uh, quite uh, big, so I'm going to read everything. How can we implement the Medrim packs in the web-based PhD platform for veterinarians? Our needs, installation on our servers, management of DICOM and other image and video files, opening of images and videos directly from PhD platform, the master ID is the chip number of the animal, Encry encrypted uh, sending of images and videos from the bags of vet practices and clinics to the PhD bags, management and receive of images or videos taken with smartphone, tablets and laptop, laptops when logged in to the PhD and 
PH booklet platform. Op optional encrypted send of images and videos from PhD packs to web practices and clinics, screen sharing, sh screen sharing and online call function, and creation of learning archives with anonymized cases. Uh, so, uh, of course, the workflow uh, for you to achieve all this functionality would be uh, to contact our infosofneta.com. Uh, where you would write well, what you are uh, university which try to 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 incorporate our technology in your uh, management system and then you would get uh, demo licenses for the trial period where you could try to integrate and achieve all this listed functionality and only then decide about usage of uh, function about our technology in your platform. But yes, all these features, uh, so the, the, the viewer itself, itself could be installed at your environment together with PAC system. It also could be op any open source PAC system. You could select like the same for Qi or Tang, any open source PAC system because for veterinarians is not needed the certification and most likely for you functionality would be okay. Uh, then you would need to uh, integrate uh, by using our integration documents, our technology, or, or if you need assistance, use our integration specialist uh, to complete these actions. Uh, the viewer itself already contain possibility to share data uh, anonymously with anyone through DICOM library vet. We have dedicated uh, free uh, portal, uh, uh, which is a charity for all pet lovers to allow them to share the data anonymously, send it, and also I believe all your described workflow is possible to be completed using our technology, uh, and I don't see any significant uh, issues on uh, running your workflow. Okay, another one. Uh, RIS system with, with French support in also in UI also packs in French version user interface. Yes, so so uh, this um, the translation could be done easily because it's uh, our XML file. So which you get, you translate, provide us, and, and when we. Uh, Check is it everything correctly translated and confirm you what you can apply it to, to the settings and then all user interface will be translated. If you need also translate like user manuals uh, and other documents uh, to have uh, not only the user interface covered by the custom language, but also coverage of, for the user manuals, so that's, this again would be needed to translate and at this point is no way to deploy it and replace the original one, but we're working on it and it's most likely in the year, at the end of the year we will have some solutions also maybe to um, replace some user manuals with a custom language. But at this point only user interface could be customizable and um, the user manuals would be needed to deliver for end user manually. So you, if you would translate our user man, English user manual to French, you would need to, to give them uh, in person the new uh, user manuals because in the system would be only English user manual. Okay, thank you. Another one. I would love to see a de demo with a montage functionality. So we are already presented it in in my presentation. So so you also uh, can uh, download our Medium installation uh, like uh, uh, easy install with next next next. Uh, ask our uh, demo key for for uh, trial uh, and contact our info softnet.com and see it on your data. But uh, again, today we already presented and if when you will see our video, you will see montage functionality uh, live presentation. 
Okay, thank you. So I'm going to the page with our attendees questions. Is there any risk burning CD solutions with French language support that can be added to our Madrim PAX software? So at this point, our, our solution allows to export studies for the CD burning or uh, USB, but it's not contains the CD viewer. So for the CD viewer, you would need to combine the third party solution at this point. Uh, you again could, 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 could search it on internet and find any CD, uh, CD viewing software. And then you will select the CD viewing software. You can contact our support and get guidance how to include this CD viewing software into the build for the CD recording or USB stick. Okay, thank you. Another one. Which DSM4G database versions are supported by a new version? So all the versions which uh, which were supported before, so it's uh, starting from two and finishing with newest one is already supported with with uh, our uh, latest release. Okay, thank you. Can job boards be created for radiologists? It, it, it's um, it, most likely this is more discussion on the risk functionality, uh, which I recommend you to place uh, a question for for our info at sofneta.com. So we would. Uh, check and try to understand what what is job boards mean, because uh, this is not clear for me. Uh, your question. Uh, okay, thank you. Another one. Will the dated and named annotation be visible in another viewer in a PR presentation state format? If we need to transfer a patient form. Uh, from our clinic to the hospital that uses a different PAX than ours, or should we use a captured viewport instead? This is a good question. So, uh, uh, if this uh, third party PAX system is up to date, it must be the same because we are saving by the standard. So, any uh, viewer which support uh, presentation state must present correctly. But of course, uh, if it's all the viewer or all the packs like 10 years old or, 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 or even older, sometimes this happens or it's some like very old, I don't know, uh, work sta workstation. So it could be issues to open this data. That's why the, the secondary option would be uh, save a um, montage or a uh, secondary capture image. Yes, this would be a solution in to be sure that it will be presented correctly. But of course, uh, because our product is very widely spread, like we already have uh, more than 2000 installations worldwide and, and this presentation states is very well tested in, uh, in other systems too, when these uh, data is sent to other hospitals. So I in most of the cases, when you are working with another hospital, which have up-to-date systems, this will be no issues. Okay, thank you. Uh, another one, when the report is being made, does it have autosave? Uh, no, if you're using our reporting uh, system, you manually need to 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 finalize uh, uh, finalize the report, but uh, uh, and do a saving. Is no auto save functionality in at this point in our reporting. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last one. Uh, if anybody has more questions, please write them now. 
can you still use the pan and zoom function when images are aligned using the auto alignment tool? Uh, yes, you can zoom and pan, but at this point, uh, our tools, uh, if we speak, if you remember, I showed two tools. One is uh, alignment and another was uh, synchronization of images. Unfortunately, both tools at the same time is not working. Like if you do alignment and if you do uh, synch would like to synchronize all images at this point, it, it, this is not uh, no possibility. So if you do alignment, so synchronization is, is still not working properly. So it, this is not uh, we planning to upgrade it in the next releases, but from this release, we still not recommend to combine these two tools together, but separately they are working perfectly. OK, thank you. I see this was the last question. Nobody else is writing any, so I'm switching to the, uh, the last slide. Uh, as you know, next week uh, we are going to be in um, some exhibition. So I invite you, if you are going to be there, pass by our booth. If this is um, 405, uh, the number of our booth. So step by, uh, let's meet in person. Yes, many thanks again for this one hour to being together with us. We know that it's summer. In some countries, it's very early. In some countries, very late. So many thanks, everyone. and. I see you in person in Sims. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a good day or evening and see you on our next webinars. See you. Bye, Bye everyone.